I'm Christy Vega Glue from Phoenix Cake Company, and I'm going to show you how to make fondant numbers for a cake top. The first thing you'll need is some fondant. You can either make your own fondant, if it's easier for you to buy it, go for it. I think it's easier to buy it, but whatever your preference is. So I'm going to do some pink fondant. And we're actually going to make a fondant number here, which is skewered already, and I dried this ahead of time. This is very important. If you're going to do these numbers, you need to do this at least a day ahead of time, if not two to three days. You want to make sure that these things are rock hard before you're going to put it in your cake. You do not want a cake catastrophe as you're putting it in and the thing breaks. So make sure you do this at least a day ahead of time. It's better if you can do it a couple days. So once you have your fondant condition, you want to warm that up. We're going to start rolling this out on the table. A little bit of powdered sugar. I like to use powdered sugar instead of cornstarch. It doesn't seem to dry out the fondant as much. Once your fondant is rolled out, you can use various cookie cutters. I'm just using a basic set here. I'm going to do a number one. You want to roll this out fairly thin. You don't want to roll it out too thick. We're actually going to sandwich the skewer in between the two pieces. You can also roll this out very thick and stick the skewer in that way, but I like to do it this way. I think it adds a little bit more stability. So once the, once the fondant is rolled out, we're going to cut out your number. Once the numbers are rolled out and cut, you're going to flip one over. I'm going to add a little bit of water. So you want to add a skewer to this. There's different sizes of skewers. I don't like to use bamboo skewers that are a little bit too big. If you have a big heavy piece the bigger the piece, the bigger the skewer is a good rule of measure. These are more like cocktail skewers. They're a little, a lot larger than a toothpick. I bring up the skewer about three-fourths of the way. You want to leave approximately three inches underneath your number because this is the part that's going to actually stick inside the cake and give it stability. If this skewer is not long enough, your number will topple over. So you have to make sure that you have at least two and a half to three inches. So you're going to grab the other number. This is, you're going to basically flip this over because this is going to be the back. And you're going to press that down gently. And there's a fondant number cut out. This one is was done previously, and it's a number five, obviously. The skewer is way too long to fit on this cake. So if it is, you just need to cut it. Your wire cutter, pliers, anything you have that will cut a wooden skewer. I'm going to just snip off inch and a half or so. One of the things you can do at this point, you can either airbrush the edges to make it pop out a little bit more, or you can add some royal icing. You can add little embellishments to your numbers. This is just royal icing. These are pre-made little candy dots. Kind of add them wherever you want.
Another technique you can do to jazz up your number. This is black gel paste food color. You want to use a paintbrush with a very pointy tip. And you're actually going to create a zebra stripe pattern. This is a nice technique for you know animal print party, whatnot. And you can play with your colors on this. Typically, you want to have a steady hand when you're using a paintbrush, but this technique, you actually want your hand to be a little shaky. It's actually, it actually is more beneficial to you if your hand's a little shaky. So, because you want it to, you know, imitate a nice zebra print. After you've painted your zebra stripes or whatever technique that you want, you, you can, at this point, put it on your cake. Obviously, this I just did this this afternoon, but you want to do these a couple days ahead of time. So once it's nice and firm, I always like to have these little pliers handy. I try not to put it in like this. You are more likely to break this the pressure of your hand pushing it in the cake. This is why I like to have these little pliers, these little uh, like bull nose tip, very pointy at the end. I like to grab it right at the base, so when you put it in, you're pushing down, your pressure's on the skewer and it's not on the actual number. So you're pushing down, the nice thing about this is you can get the fondant number right where it's touching the base of your buttercream. So you don't see the actual skewer. And this is how you make fondant numbers for a cake top. I'm Christy Vega Glue from Phoenix Cake Company. Please visit our website for more tips and tricks and inspirational cake ideas. Thanks for watching.